<clears throat> conference. They said the amalgamation couldn't work. They said five years of joint GS couldn't work. But in the last five years, the NEU has grown more than any other union. We have held the biggest union meeting in UK history. We've become one of the most influential trades unions in our country. The NEU, your union, won billions for school funding in our campaigns in 2017 to 2019. The NEU, your union, kept schools and communities much safer in 2020 and 2021. The NEU, our union, built for that ballot success in 2022 and is leading the movement in 2023. We are leading... We are leading the campaign for investment in this generation of children. We are leading the fight for funding and fair pay. And whilst doing those things, we've also built outward-looking campaigns on Ofsted, on primary and secondary assessment, on free school meals, on child poverty. And while doing that, we've produced our anti-racist framework, a sexual harassment toolkit, the LGBT plus inclusion charter, our disability toolkit, the agency workers' rights tool, and so much else. We've trained people on those tools. And we keep going. We've just released an important report on the, the adultification of black girls in response to the child coup scandal. And don't forget either that in that five years, we had the biggest ever strike in private schools in the GDST. We challenged fire and rehire at many more independent schools. We have built a social justice union and an industrial union. And conference, through all of those things, Mary and I have worked together. I always knew we would. Because we worked together in 2011 on the pension strikes. We worked together in 2016 on defeating Nikki Morgan's pompously named Education Excellence Everywhere, her, the attempt to academize all schools by 2022. Well, they weren't all academies by 2022. <laughs> We defeated her in Parliament by our mobilisation in 2016, she abandoned the bill, and we defeated the attempts to academise by resistance on the ground since then. And Mary has brought so much to all of this. Mary has enormous drive, bravery, passion, a huge capacity for hard work. As she just said, on the very rare occasions when we disagreed, we did so in private, we worked out what line we would take between the two of us because we considered that the unity of our union was a huge prize, central. <laughs> central to its ability to be ambitious and to win change for the future. Mary's passion has been to build a union that can change the future of education and in particular, to change the future of Ofsted to a very short future indeed. <laughs> and her passion and bravery on that has been such a delight for me to see in meetings with Ofsted, in meetings with ministers, where she's challenged them so robustly over the reliability and validity of their judgments and much else besides. And none of them, none of them, can compete with our Mary in knowledge, drive, or passion. <laughs> Conference change is going to come on school accountability. It must come, and it will come because of all of us in the NEU and the other unions. But if there is one person who will be entitled to feel that she played a singular role in that collective effort, it is Mary. When that change comes, it will be a tribute to Mary's passion and determination. I'm going to treasure these years of working with Mary forever, because you can see the benefits of us coming together, like Mary just said. Look at us now. Look at us over COVID, over pay, over funding. Look at us now, staff, activists, the mass of members, all pulling in the same direction. 
a real sense of unity throughout the union. Staff, regardless of which predecessor union they were in, activists, regardless of which predecessor union they were in, regardless of which faction or none they are in, all pulling together. And it is fair to say, getting outstanding results. From that preliminary ballot, 62% turnout, 86% for action. At that time, the best turnout we'd ever got in either predecessor. To the formal ballot, the biggest single ballot conducted by any union for decades, certainly since those disgraceful thresholds came in. To the 57,000 who've joined us since, you are so very welcome in our union, in your union. To the fantastic engagement with those strikes on February the 1st, with so many brilliant demonstrations around the country. From the big demos in London, in Newcastle, in Bristol, in Brighton, in Manchester, in Coventry, in Birmingham, and many other places. But to the smaller, such vibrant demonstrations from Leamington Spa to Hastings to Worthing and on and on and on. Demonstrations across the country. The demonstrations that you organized led to fantastic coverage in local newspapers as well as national and regional TV. And then you, staff and activists alike, you organized those brilliant regional strikes with great demos and increased picket lines. I personally loved being in Leeds, Cambridge, and Chichester for those demonstrations. And then you organized to get 50,000 NEU members on the biggest weekday demonstration for decades, despite a tube strike. And that was such, that was such, that was such a celebration of teacher determination, solidarity, and joy. And that engagement isn't dropping. Just look at that amazing turnout, 66%, 98% reject in under six days. We should all be proud, you should all be proud of this level of member engagement in our union. But we should stop and reflect on how and why we have that engagement, because it isn't an accident. Mary and I are proud of our role in that mobilization, but we aren't fundamental. It's you, the union activists, that are fundamental. And I mean that really sincerely in your activity in the here and now, in the longer term strategies that you have set. The trigger for the mobilization was the huge increase in inflation. But your determination and dedication, the collective decisions and strategies you've decided at conferences in the past were absolutely vital to our ability to respond as we did. Your collective decision to amalgamate was vital. Your collective turn to building and supporting reps in schools, colleges and mats, the fantastic reps like Sarita and Andrew that we had on Tuesday, your decision to invest in and build the tech to support reps like the dashboard and NEU Activate. You should be proud of those decisions you've made and proud of the staff that have helped us implement them. But it's also the way we have all listened and then reached out. We've listened to members' concerns and from the beginning, inextricably linked pay and the funding of pay. That was such an important decision we've made. We reached out to NAHT and to Askell. It was so good to have Paul here yesterday. And we've consciously reached out to parents. In 2017 on school funding, during COVID on safety and on free school meals, now again on free school meals and on parental concerns about staff vacancies and the funding of their children's schools. Those decisions, those strategic choices have built increased rep numbers, they've built campaigns supported by the vast majority of members, and they have cemented our outward-looking, high moral purpose approach. We have won a funded pay rise in Wales. We have forced the reopening of pay in England, and we are going to win both on funding and pay in England.
sorry. The government is so rattled by our campaign, so rattled that it is behaving very foolishly. Yesterday, Paul Whiteman told you about that story in the TES where a DfE source said, NHT seemed determined to rise the temperature. Last week, they threatened to sue Ofsted. Now they're accusing the government of turning their backs on children. You expect this sort of rhetoric from the NEU, not the NHT? <laughs> well, that's a tribute to both the NEU and the NHT. But that sort of reaction is badly misjudged. It builds our side. Just like the offer was badly misjudged. Just like Gillian Keegan's interview on Sky was badly misjudged. Just like the constant repetition that inflation is falling, as though that means prices are falling. The constant repetition that the offer is funded when it isn't fully funded, they're badly misjudged. They are not reading the room. Conference. The government may need some reading recovery from the teachers and the teaching assistants. <clears throat> because they really should be worrying about your capacity to campaign, to win parental support, to pressurise politicians. Now, we intend to win this campaign next term. Mary and I and the rest of you in conference, we will be leading from the front on that. However, Mary and I have only got five more months, and it is just conceivable we might not win on our watch. But you are going to win. I've got every confidence in that. And if you need to, you will organise the biggest demo Manchester has ever seen for decades on October the 2nd. You'll carry on a campaign right into the general election year, and you will win. <clears throat> Conference, I started teaching in September 1983. I will retire 40 years later in September 2023. I was a school rep in 1984. I've been at every union conference since 1986, and I've devoted myself to building my union uh, and the struggle for education constantly with my best friend, Alex Kenny, as well as with so many others of you. And Alex and I have always had fun building the union. I've always had fun. I've always been proud of my union. But I have never been prouder than now of our outward-looking campaigning union. We do great work on anti-racism, for refugee rights, on anti-sexism, for LGBT plus rights, against childhood poverty. We do great international work. We show solidarity with other unions in struggle. We are an industrial and a social justice union. And I'm so proud that this union, the NEU, is truly building an education union, a union of teachers and support staff, a union that can act. <clears throat> a union that can act and a union that can organize in the interests of teachers, in the interests of support staff and the children they serve. These are great traditions to maintain, and I've got huge confidence you will maintain them. Treasure these traditions. They are your traditions. Build the anti-racism we do by building your union. Build our anti-sexist work by building our union. Build our LGBT+, our disability work, and our international work by building the union. Ask not what the union can do for your section. Ask what your section can do for the union. Keep looking outward. Keep looking outward. Keep a high moral purpose. Be confident that we have a strong, united, progressive union. Be confident in yourselves and your determination. Be confident in our union next term with me and Mary. Be confident in our union the autumn beyond with Daniel and Neve. Keep going because you will win for education. You will make the change teachers, support staff, and students need. You will replace Ofsted. You will win on free school meals. You will win on pay and funding. Keep going, keep going. And thank you so much for so many great years.